Okay. Under Secretary Marvin Gatpayat, Under Secretary Lorraine Marie Badoy, Assistant Secretary Michael Christian Ablan, Assistant Sec Secretary Omar Alexander Romero, Director Eugene Early Jr. From the Bureau of Communication Services, Director Maria Florinda Princess Duque. From APO, Chairperson Michael Dalumpines. And from IBC, OIC Corazon Reboroso. Mr. Speaker. We would like to welcome the PCO family headed by Secretary Martin Andnar. Welcome to the House of Representatives. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, we are in receipt of a letter from the Secretary of the Presidential Communications Operations Office. The letter is addressed to our esteemed Chair of the Committee on Appropriations, the Honorable Eric Yap, and is dated September 29, 2020. The letter reads, Dear Representative Yap, I am writing to humbly request that I be allowed to join via Zoom instead the plenary hearing of the Presidential Communications Operations Office fiscal year 2021 budget, which is scheduled today. It is unfortunate that I have been running a fever this morning and health protocol dictates that I self-isolate. I sincerely apologize for the inconvenience this may have caused. It is signed, Jose Ruperto Martin M. Andenar, Secretary, Presidential Communications Operations Office. Mr. Chair. Noted. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I move that we recognize Representative Joette Garcia, Vice Chairperson of the Committee on Appropriations, to answer questions on the proposed budget of the PCOO. Mr. Speaker. Representative Joette Garcia is recognized. Good afternoon, Mr. Speaker. Mr. I have Speaker, the honor. I move that we suspend so that we could allow all the guests to sit on their proper places in plenary. Thank you. Se session suspended. May copy na kayo, ha? Una si minority. Pisi, una si minority leader. Oo, siya daw muna. Benny, abang. Ang sama mo siya. Ang sir daw. Ang ito, wala pa tayo sa COVID. Ay, dapat meron. Ay, dapat meron.
Ano lang nga itong senador ko, Bok?
Session resume. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move that we recognize Representative Joette Garcia from the Second District of Bataan, the Vice Chairperson for the Committee on Appro Appropriations, to answer the questions and the proposed budget of the PCOO, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Joette Garcia is recognized. Good afternoon, Mr. Speaker. I have the honor of sponsoring the budget of the Presidential Communications and Operations Office and its attached agencies. The PCOO has a total of uh, 1,587,825,000 in appropriations for fiscal year 2021. And aside from the PCOO proper, we have the Bureau of Broadcast Services, the Bureau of Communication Services, the National Printing Office, the News and Information Bureau, the Philippine Information Agency, and the Presidential Broadcast Staff, or RTVM. The PCO is mandated to serve as the platform of the executive branch in engaging and involving the citizenry and mass media in order to enrich the quality of public dis discourse on all matters of governance and build a national consensus thereon. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I'm now ready to answer questions from our honorable colleagues. Majority Leader. Yes, Mr. Speaker, I move that you recognize the Minority Leader, Benny Abante, from the 6th District of Manila. Minority Leader, Benny Abante, is recognized. Session suspended. May we suspend. Thank you. Did it? 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 Did it?
Hindi, hindi sabi ko sa'yo sa akin ang taba ko. Ito kakasabi mo lang sa akin na pumayat ako. Ba't ka ngayon? Hindi ako magkakasama kami sa law school. Ay, hindi. 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 Tayo, tayo, tayo. Pero hindi naman ako yun. Ang importante hindi Si Bidet, ang isyari ka sa ngayon, Bidet. Oh, that's my nickname. Bidet. Session resume. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move that we recognize um, the Minority Leader, Benny Abante, for his questions. Representative Abante is recognized, our Minority Leader. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I believe that uh, the good Secretary of uh, PCOO is with us through Zoom. Uh, a letter was read in the, uh, by the majority leader on the physical absence of uh, the good secretary. But I also would like to appreciate that the undersecretaries are also with us today. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Sponsor. I'd like to begin by asking uh, the good secretary, because uh, the PCOO is created by an executive order of the then President Benigno S. Aquino III, executive order number four. And it has not been changed, Mr. Speaker. I just would like uh, the uh, good secretary to tell us what is the mandate of the PCOO, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Chairman, sponsor. Mr. Speaker, um, the PCOO is the communications arm of the executive uh, branch. So it is uh, the premier arm in engaging and involving the citizenry and the mass media in order to enrich the quality of public discourse on all matters of governance and build a national consensus. Several offices and agencies, the functions of some of which overlap, it says right here, one of their assets, Mr. Speaker, that there's a vital need to reorganize and effect functional changes within the Office of the Press Secretary and create an office to systematize, rationalize, and complement the existing structure to achieve a more efficient and systematic interaction between the people more efficient and systematic interaction between the people, the office of the president, and the executive branch. It also says that one of the mandate of the CEO, PCOO, is to tell the Filipino people the official activities, the programs, the achievements of the office of the president and the executive branch. 
Recently, Mr. Speaker, Under Secretary Lorraine Marie Badoy spoke against some of the members of this chamber, particularly the Makabayan bloc that belongs to the minority bloc. May I ask, Mr. Speaker, all of the things that Under Secretary Badoy said like this statement, ang mga representante ng makabayan black na sina Arlene D. Brosas ng Gabriela, Franz L. Castro ng ACT, Sara Ilago ng Kabataan, Euphemia Kulamat, Ferdinand Kaite at Carlos Esegani Sarate ng Bayan Muna Party List ay mga matataas na ranggong kasapi ng Communist Party of the Philippines, New People's Army, National Democratic Front, na ang layunin ay pahinain at wasakin ng ating gobyerno upang pabagsakin ang demokrasya at tuluyang itatag ang komunismo. Ang mga ito ay walang kahihiyan at walang tigil sa paggamit ng kayahan ng gobyerno upang sirain at pahinain ang gobyerno mismo. At kinang, ang isang bansang ang mga mamamayan ay may isipag, progresibo at may mabubuting kalooban. Ito, meron siyang binigay na hamon at nilagay po niya na siya'y Undersecretary Lorraine Mariti Badoy, NTF LCAC Spokesperson. Matanong ko lang po, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Sponsor. Yung po bang mga statements ni Yusek Badoy ay ayon sa mandato ng PCOO? Mr. Speaker, ayon po kay uh, Secretary uh, Martin ng uh, PCOO, ang mga binitawang pong uh, salita ni uh, Yusek uh, Badoy ay uh, sa, niya, sa kanya pong sariling uh, mga komen. Nagawa niyang official statement ng NTF LCAC. Matanong ko nga po, ano po ba ibig sabihin ng NTF LCAC, Mr. Speaker? National. NTF LCAC, Mr. Speaker, National Task Force and Local Communist, and Armed. Local Communist Armed Conflict. National Task Force to end, to end local communist armed conflict. Pero nabanggit po ninyo, Mr. Speaker, this is not the official statement and the, the official message of the PCOO. And therefore, uh, Yusek Badoy should not be using her position in the PCOO in a statement like this, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Chair. Mr. Speaker, uh, katulad po ng aking uh, nabanggit kanina, uh, hindi nga po ito uh, posisyon ng uh, PCOO. Uh, tama po ang ating uh, minority leader, Mr. Speaker, na nakalagay po doon sa post ni uh, Yusek uh, Badoy um, na NTF LCAC. Sapagkat uh, dito ho sa... niya pong uh, post at yung kanya pong mga binanggit dun ho sa kanyang uh, uh, post ay uh, yun po ay hindi sa PCOO kundi po yun po ay uh, posisyon ng NTF LCAC. So yan po yung posisyon Mr. Speaker ng NTF LCAC. Tama po yun uh, Mr. Speaker. Ito po bang NTF LCAC Mr. Speaker ay nasa ilalim ng PCOO? Ang NTF LCAC ay hindi po nasa ilalim ng uh, PCOO. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, hindi niya dapat gamitin ang posisyong undersecretary because she is an undersecretary of PCOO, Mr. Speaker. Uh, nilagay niya po yung uh, NTF LCAC dun ho sa kanyang post kasi siya po, si Yusek Badoy, ay uh, siya po yung spokesperson at saka siya po yung lead 
head convener ng uh, strategic communications ng NTF uh, LCAP, Mr. Speaker. Yes, Mr. Speaker. Uh, that, that's given already. Pero sa akin po, ito po ay hindi official statement ng PCOO, kundi ng NTF LCAP. Ibig sabihin po niyan, hindi niya pwedeng gamitin ang opisina ng PCO bilang undersecretary sa mga statements pong ganito. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Speaker. Now, gusto ko pong ituloy. Ano po? Uh, I would like to say and declare publicly that uh, I am not a communist, Mr. Speaker. I am against all kinds of armed conflicts, whether they be communists, rightists, um, Muslim terrorists, whether it might be, uh, past that armed conflict, any armed uprising to topple a duly constituted government, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Chairman, I'm against it. I'm against it. I do not have any personal quarrel with Yusik Badoy. But may I state for the record, Mr. Speaker, that being the minority leader of the 18th Congress, it is my duty to correct some misimpressions and to be able to speak for and in behalf of the members of the minority. So I would I'm going to end my questioning and be able to make a manifestation, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Chairman, to speak of the manifesto of the minority bloc signed by all of the minority members. Mr. Speaker, Your Honor. And may I now read it. The House minority stands united in the pursuit of peace and justice in our country. We uphold the Filipino core values and the exercise of basic human rights and liberties enshrined in our Constitution. The House of Representatives is composed of elected public servants mandated to legislate laws and reforms that benefit the welfare of the citizenry and the whole country. Congress is currently deliberating the proposed 2021 national budget. And as members coming from the minority, we do our utmost to effectively and constructively scrutinize the same, even to the last centavo when possible, if only to make it responsive to the primordial needs of our people and country, especially in this crisis aggravated by the COVID-19 pandemic. However, these past days, the proposed budget briefing of the Presidential Communications Operation Office became a cause of great concern for the House minority. The PCOO has made use of its resources now, considering, Mr. Che, Mr. Speaker, that the statements of Yusek Padoy are not the official statement of the PCOO, still, being a part of the PCOO, e damay po ang buong PCOO dito. Ang sakit po ng kalingkingan ay sakit ng buong katawan. To speak of it, Mr. Speaker. So, gusto kong gamitin dito ang PCOO ngayon. The PCOO has made use of its resources through Yusek Badoy to peddle fake news, disinformation, and attacks on critics and the opposition in an attempt to curtail dissent. In particular, it has issued or she has issued numerous statements in various media platforms falsely tagging as terrorists the members of the Makabayan bloc who are members 
of the House minority. At the forefront of this attack is PCOO Yusek Lorraine Bador. Her actions as an appointed government official does not uphold the basic Filipino core values and deliberately disrespects elected public officials who were mandated to serve their constituencies. These relentless attacks of Yusek Badoy through her social media platforms, which even incited their followers to issue threats of harm against sitting members of the House, are not acceptable to the minority, and we will not take it in stride or sitting down. And therefore, we demand the following. Number one, that the PCOO and all its officials and personnel take down all its social and other media posts that disrespect and slander the house of members belonging to the Makabayan bloc. That the PCOO issue a public apology for this grave misconduct against them. And finally, the removal of Yusek Badoy from her post as she does not embody the proper conduct of a civil servant. Yusek Badoy's malicious terrorist tagging of the Makabayan black representatives are putting in jeopardy not only the security but more importantly the lives of sitting members of the House. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Sponsor, Kung pwede pong gawin ito ng isang appointed official ng gobyerno sa Makabayan Black, pwede rin pong gawin ito sa kahit na sinong member ng House of the People. As we consider the budget of PCOO, it should commit to take necessary and immediate measures to hold itself accountable. It should make sure that a PCOO platform will not be used to propagate misinformation and incite hate and violence against critics and even perceived critics of the administration. The PCOO should take down all social media posts and attack groups and individuals for criticizing government policies. The 2021 proposed national budget should revolve around the pertinent issues of health education, social services, and economic recovery. We are still under the public health and economic crisis brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. Government agencies and their officials are expected to serve the Filipino people and prioritize their welfare at all times. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Sponsor, if indeed, if indeed, in a very honest way, there is truth to the statement of Yusik Badoy. I would like to request of her not to use the court of public opinion and make it a trial of publicity. If indeed what she said is true and she has documents to speak of the Makabayan bloc being a terrorist group and terrorist congressmen and those that believe in armed violence, then I would like to challenge Yusik Badoy to go to court against them. That is my challenge, Mr. Speaker. If I would not hear Yusik Badoy apologizing to this body, I would move for a deferment of the budget of the PCOO. Mr. Speaker, the, as I mentioned uh, earlier, katulad po ng aking nabanggit uh, kanina, yung mga binitawan pong salita or mga post ni Yusek Badoy, uh, kung uh, makikita din po nating lahat, uh, yun po ay mga komento sa mga post ng NTF LCAC. Kaya po, um, ito po ay official na posisyon ng uh, 
NTF LCAC uh, ito ay supposed to be uh, vetted and confirmed by NTF uh, LCAC uh, kaya po uh, ayo na rin po kay uh, Yusek uh, Badoy ay uh, hindi ho nila kasamang NTF LCAC hindi po nila pwede basta tanggalin ito pong mga nakapost sa social media Well, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Sponsor, inyo pong sinabi na ito po hindi official statement ng PCOO. Therefore, ito po ay mga personal and private statements of Yusek Badoy. Pinag-uusapan po natin dito ang budget ng PCOO. Mr. Speaker, uh, sa akin pong pananaw, nais ko lang pong banggitin na dapat lamang pong igalang ng sino mang official ng gobyerno ang tahanan ng taong bayan. This is the house of the people. And anyone can be open to any kind of a malicious statement like that. So Mr. Speaker, kung tayo po ay uh, uh, magmamatigas po dito, ang request ko lamang po, Mr. Speaker, ay sabihin niya na ito ay kanyang personal statement. Tanggalin niya. Tanggalin niya yung mga statement niya, social media platform. Mag-apologize siya sa body. Opo. At pagkatapos po, kung talagang totoo na ito pong makabayang black na ito, mga terorista, idemanda niya sa proper court. I-demanda po niya sa proper court. Hindi po dito. Not in the court of public opinion. But in the judicial courts themselves, Mr. Speaker. Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Speaker, um, Naintindihan ko po yung manifesto na binasa ng ating uh, minority leader, lalo na bilang kapwa-miembro ng mababang uh, kapulungan. Uh, ngunit, katulad po ng uh, uh, binanggit ko po kanina, uh, ito nga pong mga post ay uh, bukod sa personal na opinion na nilagay o sinulat ni Yusek Badoy, Uh, ito po ay uh, official uh, position ng NTF LCAC na kung saan uh, siya po ay representative at saka spokesperson. Uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, kanina po um, nabanggit ng ating minority leader na siguro lahat po tayo kasama po ang ating minority leader ay uh, ayaw ng uh, armed conflict. Ayaw po natin ng uh, kaguluhan sa ating bansa. Ayaw po natin ng mga movement o mga aksyon para ipatumba ang ating uh, pamalaan. At uh, yun lang rin, rin daman po ang uh, objective uh, ni uh, Yusek uh, Badoy. Uh, kaya po uh, ayaw na rin po sa inyong uh, uh, manifesto. Uh, willing po siya. Willing po siya i-take down, willing po siya humingi ng uh, paumanhin. Uh, basta po ang ating pong mga kasamahan dito sa mababang kapulungan ay uh, lahat ay uh, mag, uh, mag-sign din o kaya po mag, uh, mag, uh, ipapaalam din sa lahat na sila ay uh, laban sa kahit anong armed conflict para patumbihin ang uh, ating pamahalaan. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Sponsor, maraming maraming salamat po uh, sapagkat mayroong oppression at mayroong poverty. Pero palagay ko po sa ilalim ng administrasyon ng ating Pangulo, ito po'y pwedeng i-address. Ito pong oppression na ito, ito pong poverty ito, ito pong corruption na ito. Atin nakita ang statement ng ating Pangulo, Mr. Speaker. Nahanda siyang mag-resign dahil lang po na inisa po siya sa korupsyon. All of this can be addressed if only ha, kung tayo po'y laban sa mga nag-e-insight ng rebellion 
eh dapat laban din po tayo sa nag sa nag insight na mga f- flaming statements na siyang magbibigay sa ibang mga takasunod na magkaroon ng violence, Mr. Speaker. Pero ako po'y nagpapasalamat sa pahayag ni Yusek Badoy. At sana po ay maranig po sa kanya, sa mga magitan po ng sponsor natin, na kanya pong tatanggalin ang kanyang mga sinabi sa social platform. Siya po'y mag-a-apologize. Uh, Mr. Speaker, at kung talagang totoo na ito pong makabayan black na ngayon kasama natin dito sa House of Representatives ay mga terorista, then let her go to court. Let the NLF LCAC go to court against them, but not in the court of public opinion. Mr. Speaker, I would like to ask for a two-minute suspension. Session suspended. Thank you. 